five, that time he was a doctor at Moyo University, when we were working together on a project on human rights for people with disabilities with the York University. I'm sure Professor can remember that. And I greatly admired him. Later on, I could see him uh, making commentaries on TV on various political and legal issues. And all of that, to the extent that therefore, in the 11th Parliament, we were able to meet uh, uh, in, in, in the House. And um, Professor Kindiki, uh, if you see him on the floor of the House, you can see he's actually at peace, actually, with himself, because he has actually conducted himself in a very, um, uh, you know, honorable manner. And uh, he also has not forgotten his pedagogy, because when senators speak, he almost wants to award marks. You see, he would say, well, very well, you've spoken very well here and there, just to show that actually he's still having his, um, his eyes on the academy. And Mr. Speaker, you know, since I joined politics, I've come to see <laughs> that politics really is the art of the possible, is who gets what, where, and how. In fact, it is, according to me, some form of amorphous formlessness. It is the informality that constitutes the formal. And so therefore, there are no really clear rules. Because for example, there is no way you can explain how an individual A would vote for an individual B and not individual C. There is no guarantee, there is no threshold, it's just a choice. And again, in politics, there are no permanent friends or permanent enemies, only interests. Now, the late minority leader, Francis Nyenze, told me when I joined parliament, that time we had CORD and the Jubilee Coalition of TNA and URP, and CORD of WIPA, ODM, uh, and Fort Kenya and others. And he told me that, Mwara, within six months, you start seeing people changing their political allegiances. These things we are calling here will change. And indeed, he was vindicated. It is the same thing that we are also seeing uh, in this 12th parliament. Interests have changed, and a lot have changed. And I would want to say, just for purposes of record and transparency, that some of us, as Senator Kangata alluded to, uh, we are very much involved in ensuring that we do not come to this decision. And Senator James Orengo, you can bear me witness, and Senator Njeru Ndwiga and others. We really tried to ensure that indeed there is a pathway uh, that would ensure that an alternative, that the party confidence on the part of Professor Kidure Kindiki is actually restored, is actually perpetuated, so that we can continue to enjoy uh, his contributions and his presiding over this house. And I'm sure, Mr. Speaker, you agree that he's been very uh, uh, helpful uh, to you. But having said that, I think there comes a time where decisions have to be made because it's a matter of procedure. It is actually true, Mr. Speaker, that there is always this question about how parliamentary positions are filled whether a party has the right to de-whip a member from a committee or a position of privilege, because all of us who hold any position in a committee or the House leadership are a result of the numbers. It's a game of numbers. It's a game of you are, you are actually placed you know, where you are supposed to be. And, and that is the case. But then when it comes to removal, it's always a question of is there an independence of parliament in that regard? So maybe in, in the future of our standing orders is something we want to converse because we are actually involving democracy. To see to it that then you actually mediate that process, you know, you interlocute that process so that then it is actually neater and you're able to, to do much more. So Professor Kindiki, as I conclude, because I can see the yellow line is there, I want to leave you with these words. In politics, your future allies are your current nemesis. And your current allies are your future detractors. In the end, what matters is that you arrived at your desired goal and position, and both friend and foe, ally and the alienated, we reckon you are fun in their flame. Keep going. Thank you. Senator Kabak. 